Oh, she's pissed now. Good job, dog meat. If I would have been in here myself, that thing would have snuck up right behind me and bit me right in the ass with this big, sharp pincher thingamadoodles. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment Mod List. I'm the Bearded OG, and we are pretty close uh, to where I left you in the last episode. Uh, on our way back up north to do our bounty and then continue exploring the northwestern part of the map. And there are these big satellite dish thingamadoodles up here. So I thought we would go discover this area. Uh, nothing uh, out of the ordinary occurred on my trip back or my trip here. I did discover Paradise Falls. I did not go into Paradise Falls, but uh, there is a, a transport the bot there. So I used that to get home and then I came back to Paradise Falls to get back up here. And then, you know, have hiked up uh, this far. So, uh, we are not too far away from our, our bounty quest, and that's uh, pretty much all I have to update you on. All right, so let's see if we can figure out what this place is. Oh, there's bandits around, whatever it is. Okay, let's go quiet. Interesting. All right, we got a bandit up there. Who's out there? Somebody over there too. Oh hell yes! Yeah, tear him apart. Does he have a way to get down here? Yeah, trouble's not over, fellas. How do you get up there? Where's that coming from? Oh, up there. Okay. All right, that one's down. Okay, so my question is, how do you get up there? Oh, I thought that was somebody's head right over there. Only a fucking coward hides. Okay, here, take this for your fucking coward. Over there, watch it. Oh shit. Dropping back down on me. All right, that takes care of those mofos. I saw somebody over there, too, but I don't know where they went. All right, let's go around over this way. Here we go. Here's an entrance. This is the SATCOM array in 3 dc There are some graves and coffins out here. That's interesting. 
Okay. We may come back here later and do this, but I want to stay focused. I want to at least get our bounty done first. So let's continue moving north. That didn't mark on the map for us, though. It seems like a fairly significant POI to not show up. What What if we just go inside? For, oh, we can't go inside. Never mind. It's locked. Okay, so basically we just have to kind of try and remember uh, this is a big irradiated water treatment plant that I just, I didn't go into it. I just crossed by it. Uh, so we have to just kind of remember northwest of the Montgomery County Reservoir at the end of this little branch here-ish is where this place is. But I guess we're not getting in there until we either have hard lock picking skill or we devise another way to get in there. Okay. It is definitely curious, though. All right, we are very close to this place. My guess is that that's the trail to get up there, maybe? Okay, let's get... Is that a cave or something back in there? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> There's a rope bridge. We're probably going to have to... Get back up and go across there, I'm thinking. Got a dead wastelander here. Dead end. Okay. It's been a week and I still haven't picked up Marco's trail. Sitting here now alone, I can be completely honest with myself and anyone who might read this. I've never felt like such a failure in my life. To let a man enter your home and then watch helplessly as he murders your family in cold blood is more than any person should have to bear. Now I can't even find the son of a bitch to give him what he has coming. He kills my children in front of my eyes and he gets to just walk away. No punishment, no justice. How is that fair? I'd kill him myself, but I'm sure I'd just screw that up too. I just wish I knew what to do. I just wish God or someone would give me some kind of sign. Yeah, that sucks. Not a cool situation. All right, let's see if we can get up here. Looks like we can probably uh, get up this direction. Okay, so that's our destination. Hilltop line is what this is called. Let's go cool and quiet here. I've already got somebody's attention. Oh shit, I thought you were dead. Okay, let's take that. A firebomb. NCR money. Hmm. I think that's the first I've seen that. Uh, that's a new Vegas currency. What's that? Oh, that's a marine carbine. Oh, 
I didn't want to take that military bandage, but oh well. All right, we have the same issue again. None of those raiders were bosses. Uh, all right, I guess I'll take all of this for now. And then that goes off the end of the map. Okay, so what it said to do is move away from the area, save the game, and then reload it. And the boss may return. So I don't know how far away from the area we need to get. We'll go um, all the way back over to the satellite array thingies. Okay. So let's save here. And we'll reload the game and see if that does the trick. All right. There is a new enemy over there. And he could definitely be a boss. It's just the one guy, though. The other ones didn't seem to respawn. I think you have to reset the whole entire thing. Yep, there he was. Okay, good. That works. Oh, wow. You got a lot of... Uh, he's got a perfect condition assault rifle and perfect condition armor. I picked up something I didn't mean to pick up. What was it? Oh, the flamer. Yeah, I don't want to carry that around. Sucker's heavy. Okay, good. So again, it's nice to know that that... Uh, whoops, uh, that that does work. Let's just take a quick look at this carbine. I don't think it's going to be... Yeah, it's not going to be worth a whole lot. I think we'll chuck it too, and I don't want the spear. Very good. Okay, so um, I think what we'll do now is we'll just kind of work our way west and explore the northwestern portion of the map and just see what else there is to see. Why don't we give ourselves a marker to follow? Well, we're going to get to this river. We don't, we don't really need a marker. Let's just stay on a westerly heading. It's very rocky and rugged terrain up here. Trying to get up there. There we go. Oh, we're still not technically all the way up. There we go. Holy crow. Uh, who's... Oh, a pit raider? What the hell's a pit raider? See, I don't know... Oh, that's a... That's a... That's a dude. Like, a named guy. Is he evil, though? Uh, We've got to keep moving. There's no time. Boy, you're tough, dude. You took some serious firepower. Uh, that's all you're going to tell me? Okay. You have discovered a radio tower. Pit Raider. Raider Iconolast Armor. What is that? It's got radiation resistance. It's worth a f f fair amount of money. 
It's light armor. Combat's damn nice. Raider throwdown armor. That looks like heavy armor. Unarmed and melee weapon. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's... That's light armor, too. It looked like heavy armor. We'll take the mod off of that shotgun. Wow, that's got lots of mods. Shotgun itself isn't worth a shit, so we'll throw that away. This perfect condition assault rifle is 300 caps. Nice. Okay. Um, let's... Well, actually, both of these metal armors are worth a lot. But we are on the verge of not being able to carry anything more. All right, let's talk to this guy. Wait a minute. Are you... What the hell? Are you a follower? How come I can access his inventory? Is he actually following me? He doesn't appear to be. If I open the follower menu, he doesn't show up there. Dog meat got lost in the shuffle. Just checking to see if those had any mods. All right, I don't know what to do here because he won't talk. No he won't talk to me. We've got to keep moving. There's no time. Now I can't access his inventory. We've got to keep moving. There's no time. I wonder if this has something to do with the DLC The Pit, which I have never done. I don't know anything about it, as a matter of fact. All I know uh, except for the fact that it has something to do with slavery and I think it takes place in Pittsburgh. That's all I know. But I, I I don't know what to do. I mean, he won't talk to me other than say we got to get moving. We've got to keep moving. There's no time. And I don't see anything else to do here. So I guess we keep on keeping on. Not sure. So water tower over that way. I'll bet that guy we can maybe sell a couple things to. Yeah, nice. Can I interest you in an extremely rare refreshment? Maybe. That sounds mighty good in this heat. What is it? If it's rare, I bet it will cost an arm and leg. Nope, I'm not really interested. Uh, what is it? It's called a Nuka Cola Quantum. It's much better <laughs> than your average Nuka Cola. I know all about it. It even glows in the dark. Yes, it does. How much you want for it? Only 100 caps, my friend, and a bargain at twice the price. Why, I know a lady in Gertershade who'd pay through the nose for one. I believe I know who you're talking about. Um. Okay, if I pay you 100 caps for this, can I also sell some other stuff to you? Here you go. Enjoy it. Oh, good. Okay. A few odds and ends. So that just gave him more caps for us to get back by selling shit to him. Um, let's go here and... Oh, see. <laughs> he doesn't even have enough to buy one of these, let alone both of them. Uh... Okay. What does he have that we might actually want? Could buy some bandages... Could buy some Solvitol. And some 20 gauge rounds. Those things pack a pretty decent punch. Yeah, he doesn't really have a whole bunch, does he? Okay. Let's buy those. 
uh, the scrap metal. We can try these satchel charges. I don't want 10 grenades. We'll take the solvatol, the three bandages, and the 20 gauge rounds. And then let's sell him this and this. And this throwdown armor. And this iron clasped armor. The composite recon helmet. And the armor. Okay, so that still leaves him with 54 caps. The assault rifle would sell for 144. Oh, excuse me. Well, he just doesn't really have anything else I want. But we got rid of the real heavy stuff, so. Okay, good. A pleasure doing business with you. Is your repair skill worth anything? Nope. nope not worth a shit. Okay. What? Whatever. All right, good. That was actually quite fortuitous that we ran into him because we were on the verge of running out of capacity there. Uh, let's do a save as well, because if we happen to crash or something, that, that there's no guarantee he's going to be there again. But yeah, this area is really rugged up through here. Shoot that guy. There's what looks to be maybe a train station or a metro up that way. That looks like a gopher hole. Useful. You've discovered train tunnel. All right. Um, are these bad bats? Yep. They almost look like they're in a cage. Hmm. Are they gladiators? <laughs> I don't know. Let's be on our guard. Oh, they're slaves. Okay. Ramsey. Slaver. And slaver. The Pit Tunnel. Yeah, this has got to be... I, I'm pretty sure this is probably part of the... The Pit DLC. Okay, let's... Uh, let's do a quick save. I just want to see what this Ramsey asshole has to say. Um, maybe. Pull me, no, I'm just here to kill you slaving bastards. What are you doing out here? Waiting for Santa Claus. What do you think? We're here to do business. So, if you're not who we're waiting for, then I suggest you fuck off before I shove my gun so far up your ass that you start burping lead. So here's the thing. If I kill these guys, is that going to screw up my ability to do the DLC later? I have no idea. Because normally we 
should be handling these guys in the same fashion that we handled the assholes at the Lincoln Memorial. Um, who are you waiting for? Not that it's any of your business, but we're waiting for some dudes who live up north. They've been buying up all the meat they can get their hands on. No clue why, but they pay good money, so I don't really care. Okay. Um... Uh, okay. I'm trying to decide what to do here. I could just kill him and set these slaves free. But again, I don't know if that'll screw something up, especially since he's a named guy. Damn right. What if we, what if we try this? What if we put on our jammies and Button's wig? Uh, what does that put our speech at? Okay, that gives us... Oh, yeah, that gives us 59 speech. You again? What now? I want to buy your slaves. I just wanted to check on you. Um, yeah, and I don't want my boss to kick my ass. So, unless you're the dude from the pit... These slaves ain't for sale. Piss off! You again? What now? You're gonna be checking my foot up your ass if you don't leave us alone! You really like to be talking about putting things in my ass, don't you? Um... Well, here's the thing, though. I guess if we... If we kill him, he probably will have a key. And let's see, there's this guy here and this guy here. Is there anybody else around? See, normally my character wouldn't wouldn't just walk away from this because we got people enslaved and they need to be set free. Um but, you know, here again, we might want to do that DLC, and I don't want to screw something up. So, I think we'll just move on for now, and... Oh, why can I take those? That's not stealing. I don't know. And we can come directly back here now, because we've discovered the gopher hole, or the mole hole. Let's just poke our head in here real quick. Activate. Oh, yeah. I'll bet you this takes us. See, I think the pit is in Pittsburgh. That's why it's partly called the pit. So, yeah, let's not do this right now. I'm not ready to, to do DLCs because DLCs usually take a really long time to get through. Oh, there's another slaver there, too. So, yeah, we'll, we'll come back and I'm, unfortunately we'll have to leave them slaves to their fate for now. Very glad we found the molehole, though. Okay, so... We're getting close to the river. And I think we will put these on. So we can all see better. Seeing's a good thing. I forgot that guy was over there. Oh, dog! Get the fuck out of the way! Oh, come on, I hit the wrong fucking button. Oh, shit! I thought you were dead! God damn it, we're... almost dead ourselves. Store. Oh no, we don't want to. We don't want that. We want the ones that stop bleeding, which is medkit. We're not in combat. God damn it! Maybe we are still in combat.
Yeah, I guess we're not bleeding anyway. Well, there we go. Oh, good lord, that's a big scorpion. What is he stuck? Okay. Whew. Now, as usual, I forgot to put my armor back on, so there's that. And now we should be able to take a med kit. That's, uh, yeah, let's take that one. That didn't do jack shit for us. Uh, how about a blood pack? Or do we have the other kind of blood pack? Yeah, preserve. That doesn't give us any rads. Oh, wow. There was three Yagwais. No... I did kill the one that I thought I had killed. That's scary. Three of those mofos in the same place. You sure make a lot of clunking noise there, dude. Looks like maybe this river's dried up. Yeah, I'd say so. That is, I believe, a Mirelurk King. Uh, thought I saw another one over there, but maybe not. Why don't we have combat music? Are they coming up from this way? Oh yeah, look at you. Right, let's get some lurk meat. These are hunters. Tough mofos. Not really seeing much of anything else up that way. So let's just keep working our way all the way to the northwest corner. So that way we can say we did. Nice crit. Well, I guess we know who won that fight. Me. Ooh, I didn't even see you there. <laughs> okay, the blood, the blood's pumping now. Goodness gracious. Scared the shit out of me. Not even sure if we can get around this way. Don't push me off the cliff, dog. Yeah, we're going to have to go back this way. All right, that Yao Gwai is hurt pretty bad. So the question is, what hurt him? Was it that big scorp? Yeah, he got got into it with a big scorp.
There's smoke up there. I don't really see anything down that way. Let's see if we can figure out what the smoke is. Oh, it's another mole, mole hole. I keep wanting to call them gopher holes. Excellent. Raven Rock. This is called Raven Rock. Uh, here, energy weapons fire. I just don't know where it's coming from. Work our way around this way instead of going straight through the front gate. At least I thought I heard energy weapons fire. This rain's pretty damn loud. You have discovered Raven Rock. Okay. Um. Let's just go down to the end of this road and make sure there isn't like another entrance or something. Doesn't look that way. Okay. <clears throat> Let me guess. We need a key to open this place. We can't even do that. Okay. Well, maybe it'll come up on a quest at a later point in time. Oh, that's the energy fire I was hearing from that dude. Okay. Is he dead? He is not. Now he is. Whoops. Nope. I don't want to wait. Get wrecked. Oh, shit, that's a big ant. I mean, those are the n normal giant ants we're used to. That thing's huge. Isn't that bigger than the ants that we fought in, um... Great itch? Or am I just... It's a giant soldier ant. Not just a normal soldier ant. Okay. That's not the same... No, that's the... I think that's the satellite place we were at. Earlier. Yeah. So this is a different satellite array place here. Wait a minute, that's a giant soldier ant too. But it's nowhere, nowhere near as big as the other guy was. Huh. I actually wouldn't mind getting some more ant meat and especially ant nectar. Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure the ants we killed in Great Itch were not as big as this mofo. Goodness gracious. It's huge. Wow. Okay. Uh, what I was going to say is that... I have used ant nectar a few times now because, uh, because it gives you strength to carry stuff, you know, when I'm overweight. And I've never gotten addicted to it. I don't know if you can get addicted to it or if I'm just, I've just been lucky. Not sure. But it's good stuff. 
You need a little strength boost. Because you're a greedy motherfucker and you keep looting stuff. And you can't stop yourself. That is a scorpion and a dead bot. I've been, um, didn't we have another scorpion come up this way? Yeah, there he is right there. I've been looting the scorpion meat, too, because the food's actually not that bad. It gives you a bit of radiation, but it also heals you, and it's got uh, a lot of good food value. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work our way down the western side of the map. There's a big giant rad scorpion down there. And go check out those satellite places as well. Uh, I do want to go check out this Dickerson Tabernacle place too. But I'd like to kind of stay close to the western border. Whatever that place is, it's huge. Alright, so we're all the way up against the border of the map now. Is the danger. Oh, it's just another rad scorp. Oh, that's him shooting at a rad scorpion. The robot there. We have more raiders around here. Oh, we can get into this one. Okay. Let's just poke our head in here and see what the deal is. There we go. Scrap electronics, baby. We'll stay crouched just in case. I don't know if there's going to be any danger in here or not. A place like this, if anything, we might expect turrets.
All right, let's go this way. Look at this. It's quite the view, eh, dog meat? Just gonna have to go. Don't push me off. Oh, we're up in the dish. Oh, that dish fell off. Well, you can't beat the view. Pretty spectacular. Oh. That looks like a bad bat over there. Down with the sickness. There's the city way off in the distance. Gotta be careful we don't fall off this thing, man. That would be guaranteed death. That road goes for quite a ways. Not really seeing anything down there that looks like a point of interest. Let's take this guy out right now so we don't run into him later. Nice little sniping spot. Alright, well, two less assholes we have to deal with later. Let's head on out. Okay, let's move up to this one. <clears throat> if we can get inside of it, we can loot the two guys we killed and take out any, any other bad bads. Oh! What do you need? What do you got? Everything has. Okay, she's got 132 caps. Um, I'd like to sell this assault rifle. So let's do that. And we will buy her 20 gauge rounds. I'll buy. You have a doctor's bag? No, but I'll buy a preserved blood pack and two splints. Okay, so she still has 81 caps. Uh, let's sell the smokes. The two fission batteries. We'll buy the other preserved blood pack back from you. And let's see, that leaves her with 31 caps. Let's get rid of that beer. Um, in fact, yeah, we might as well just get rid of this alcohol. That gives us 32 caps. We could buy the Ultra Stim from her. And sell to her that and all this pre-war food uh 
and that stuff too. You can have the mute fruit. I've got plenty of Yao Guai meat. You can have that. Oh, now that... Okay, that puts her over by 45. Let's take half of this back and call it good. Okay, nice. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Will do. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, this is probably her stuff right Yes, yeah. that's locked, and yes, I can see you eyeing it. What about over here? Can you see me eyeing this? I think she can. <laughs> Interesting place to have a shelter underneath a big, ginormous satellite disk. Cool. All right, thank you for your business. What are you pointing at? Don't know. Let's go, dog meat. You have discovered a broken satellite facility. And we can go in there. All right. Let's do it. I'm going to do a big save here. No, I'm going to do a big save here. We know there were raiders on top of the place. Not seeing any down here. Let's leave that crap there. We'll take the we'll take all this. Nice. Want the cigarette smokes? It's almost the same exact loot that the other place had. Okay, let's move up. Surprised not to find any raiders in here. Let's get our shoddy out. Okay, there's a one guy we shot. Uh, I don't particularly want that, actually. Reinforce will take your finger, but I think I'm going to... Uh, let's see how much that sells for. 100? Nah. Too, just too heavy. Not enough VW to make it worth it. So this has another way to get up besides going into inside. And there's the other badness we killed. That metal armor is probably worth taking. It's in pretty reasonably good shape. I'm taking the incinerator. Look how big that damn thing is. Alright, let's go in here. Oh, we just got encumbered. How, oh, how did I pick that up? I wonder we're so overweight already. Okay, guess that's it. While we're still up here, there's a railway. I'm not seeing anything real significant in the way of uh, POIs or anything. That shale bridge is the next thing down the line. Everglow National Campground. 
Apparently I've been in that area. Okay, let's go. Let's set our marker to Shale Bridge. And we'll work our way that direction. I'm going to go back and check her one more time. Hey. hey. What do you need? A few. All right. So if we sold her the metal armor, I'm willing to buy the five, five, sixes. We could buy the wrench, the bandages. Oh, okay. Let's give her that many back. 28 caps. We'll buy one bandage and there we go. Oh, she still has 54 caps left. I sold you. Well, that doesn't really give us a whole lot. Oh, that gives us a lot. Let's just sell 51 caps worth of this stuff. It's a beautiful thing. And we got rid of the I've heavy armor. Thank you, and whatever. I just thought I'd say that since, you know, beat her to the punch, right? Okay, let's keep moving west here. A whole bunch of wild dogs down there. Okay. How much is dog hide? What's the VW on that? I think I looked a long time ago, but I don't remember. It's four. Eh. eh I think I'll leave it. And we got some scrap electronics for our trouble. That does not suck. Deathclaw. He did. We may have got the attention of the brain bot over that way. Just wasting ammo, man. Got him. Army Robo Brain. Tough sons of bitches. I think we checked the VW on Rad Scorpion Eggs and it was terrible. I've just been picking those up too because it's easier just to take all, you know? Let's look at that real quick. Yeah, it's only a 2.5. They're relatively heavy, so I'm going to just ditch those. Rad. Okay, we're getting close to this place called Shale Bridge. That's another big ass ant down there. Bunch of brain fungus. You have discovered Shale Bridge.
Ant nectar, yes. That's what we like. Ant meat's good too, because ant bits, though they make you a little bit thirsty, do not irradiate you when you eat them. More ant nectar. This stuff is usually, usually grows in moist environments. It's pretty dry right here. Oh, it's an ant tunnel. Okay, we could go in there and get a bunch more ant nectar. But where's the actual town? Or is it over here? Alright, there is a bridge up there. A super. Is there anything significant here besides mute fruit? Does not appear to be. Well, if this is the shale bridge, it's uh, not very impressive. And actually, we're kind of far away from it anyways. Maybe it's like an underground place that the ants took over. That's all you assholes are going to give me. Not that I mind frag grenades. I actually like frag grenades. It's just, I don't know, a little sparse. Something moving down there. I can't tell what it is. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's um, let's go down into that ant tunnel, because I would not mind at all getting some more ant nectar and ant meat. Let's do this. Wait a minute. Were we supposed to go this way? I don't know. Let's go back this way. That's just a dead end. You know, I think it's dark enough in here to warrant these. Wow, this really goes down in here. Uh, that looks like a queen ant. Oh, 
Um. Can we sniper doodle this thing from up here? Don't have a real clear headshot. I think I'm hitting the stalactites. I mean, you'd think I sh should be able to shoot right through here, but it's no indication that I'm hitting it at all. Can I do this? Oh, she's pissed now. Giant ant queen left legs crippled. Good job, dog meat. If I would have been in here myself, that thing would have snuck up right behind me and bit me right in the ass with this big sharp pincher thingamadoodles. Alright, I don't I don't know if we killed nope, we haven't killed her, but we sure we put the hurt on her a little bit. Yeah, see it's kinda can't really move through here. Uh oh. Oh, for a minute there I thought I was stuck. Does she have any kind of ranged attack? Oh, yep, she's got a ranged attack, all right. I think some of those shots were hitting the edge of the terrain and not... Not Her Majesty. Where's she at? Right down there. Okay, here. The ant is frenzied. Okay. That was a pretty tough creature. Of course, here again, I think half my shots were... We're hitting the the terrain All right, we got these guys down here I was gonna try and go back down the the path but I don't think we can get back up to a, exactly where we were yeah this is where we were okay just so we don't miss anything Uh, good boy, dog meat. Okay, let's go. that all lit up like that all right we killed ourselves a giant ant queen and we've received some ant pheromones and also some encumbrance I'll bet you well actually those are classified as an aid 
they reduce our perception and intellect by three, but give us a charisma of plus three. Interesting. Okay. So we're going to have to ditch... Uh, let's just eat those. Each one of these things is a pound. And they're not super valuable, so let's just ditch... Oh, you know what? Yeah, that was steamed rad roach. I don't want steamed rad roach. Okay, that gets us... Gets us underweight. So these must be the ant eggs. I wonder if we need that pheromone thingy for a for a quest, though. All right. Guess that's it for here. So now we have to figure out how to get out of here. I think we get back up on this ledge over here. There was a, it looked like there was a way path out. Yeah, right up through here. Well, that didn't really show us a whole lot in terms of shale bridge. But it was an interesting uh, little incident. We just we just came out of that hole, right? I think so. There's some metal armor in really shitty condition. We will leave it there. All right, now something else has to go. Let's drink some water because we're thirsty as hell. Okay, so that gave us three pounds to spare. That's got a VW of 30, a VW of only four. Really? For deathclaw meat? All right, let's just ditch that. It's got a VW of six. The eggs have a VW of four. I think those are used to make ant nog. And I'm not so sure. I don't remember exactly what that does. I know that I definitely want the ant meat. So I guess those eggs will be the next thing to go if we have to continue with throwing stuff out. Yeah, this was that other passageway that we saw when we first came in here. Okay, cool. Well, there you have it. The Ant Tunnel to Shale Bridge Hill. I don't... I don't know if we made it to Shale Bridge Hill, though. Unless there was another passage that I missed. Entirely possible. Okay, so we got, um, I've been close to these things, but I don't think I've been to them. But obviously close enough to discover them. Paradise Falls isn't too far off. So I think what I'm going to do is work my way to this Dickerson Tabernacle Chapel. Burger shade. Either that or maybe we'll save that for another time. 
And I think what I'm going to actually do is work my way south to Girder Shade and just uncover any anything else that might be around in here. And when we get to Girder Shade, you know, we've got some Nuka Quantums that we can turn in uh, to ding -ling. How many of those do I currently have? I've got a bunch back at the base. Uh, drinks. Well, yeah, we only have two on us, actually. All right, you know what I think we'll do is... I think I'm going to work my way to Paradise Falls. Not to go into Paradise Falls, but... Uh, just to fast travel home. Put, you know, do the usual. And then I'm going to grab uh, all of the rest of my Nuka Cola Quantums. Because I'm pretty sure I have enough now. We need 30 in total. So we can do that turn in. Then what we'll do is we'll fast travel back to Paradise Falls. We'll go explore Dickerson Tabernacle and hit... Uh, we've already been here a long time ago. Uh, and we'll hit these areas along the way down to Girder Shape. There's also... Um, where was that at? Yeah, in, in Smith Casey's Garage, there's also a vault. Vault 112, I think it was, that we need to explore. But, of course, we'll have to do all that in the next episode because we are, once again, out of time. So, I will... The plan will be very similar to what we just did this last time around for this episode. I'll meet you somewhere between Paradise Falls or maybe even at Paradise Falls on the way to the Dickerson Tabernacle Chapel in the next episode. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.